Hi guys! So I just finished my workout and I remembered that I've seen a lot of talk on the site about stretching for the splits and having uh, tightness and kind of funky pain feelings in the hip area, whether it's the glutes or the front of the hip here, the hip flexors. Uh, so I thought I would give you some tips on how to stretch using this ball. And you can use a ball actually all over your body to help um, relax the muscles and get into some of those pressure points. So first I want to go over coming down. I've, I've seen a lot of people working on their middle splits, the straddles, from standing. And I think part of the problem some people are having is the positioning of their knees. So first I'm going to suggest make sure that you watch all of the individual lessons on the site first before you go working on the middle splits routine because these individual lessons have the tips and the cues as far as how to hold your hips, your pelvis, your, your knees, which way things should be rotated and so on. So check those out. But for a quick overview, um, I'm going to show you this here. So what I see a lot of people doing is when they're trying to get their straddle, their middle splits, their knees are facing forward. Their toes are facing forward. They're down like so, and they're coming down like this with the knees facing forward. This is as far as my body will let me go if my knees are facing forward. It's extremely painful. So I know everybody's different and your pelvis makeup is different. So for some people, that position might work for their pelvis. For me, no way. <laughs> so what I want to suggest is that position is painful and not working. You want to make sure that you're opening up your hips before you go down into your split, your middle split. So you're going to turn on the, on the heels, rotating those thigh bones so that your knees are pointing up to the sky, not forward, up. So you've opened up the hips and you're standing like so, okay? So you've rotated everything, opening it up. Then you can bend forward and come down into your straddle middle split, okay? See, I can easily do this, turning my knees forward, mm -mm, not gonna happen. So make sure that you're being aware of rotating those hips. And again, the lessons, I talk about that a lot, even when, say, we're doing some of the, the strength lessons um, and we're doing pole leg lifts, I talk about rotating from the hip. So be aware of your rotation when you're doing different splits. So if you're having, oh, now let me show you when my knees are forward. So they're up. The only time my knees are gonna come forward is when I'm on my belly pulling through the straddle. So still they're forward, still forward, still forward and up, but now, I can rotate them so they're facing. Okay, so now it looks like they're facing the camera, but that's because I'm on my belly. I push back up, and now they're up to the ceiling. So if you can do it on your belly, then go ahead and rotate them forward. <laughs> but I don't think uh, somebody who's working on their straddles will be able to do that right away. So if you're feeling um, some funkiness back here in your glutes, or maybe even your hip flexor. If you're feeling it in the glutes, you will also want to work on the front hip flexor because just because you feel it back here doesn't mean it's not coming from the opposing muscle group. So try foam rolling and using the ball on both opposing sides. So you can put it underneath the glute area, see? And you're going to want to try different positions. So you can start with the leg forward. And I 
definitely feel this. Hold it for a minute, 30 seconds, longer, whatever feels good. And you'll find that tender spot. So that's where you want to stay. If you want, you can move around a little bit, dig in there. If it's too intense, lean farther off the ball. If you need more, lean into that ball. If it's still too intense and you're leaning off, go back to your foam roller and get that. And then you can do it in this position. This is something that we do in the middle splits routine, going through different placements of our leg as we straddle. Okay, so now I'm gonna straddle and I'm gonna put the ball underneath. And I tell you what, if I'm feeling tense from having sat in a chair all day, you know, working on lessons or something like that, and I just feel too tense or slight twinge, I put this underneath and then I go back into my straddle and it makes a world of difference but you have to allow your body to relax. So put on some music that's relaxing, watch TV so it's a bit of a distraction, but just let the muscles relax into this ball. Okay, now we're gonna do the opposing side. So we're gonna do it up here. Like this. Wiggle around on it until you can find that, ooh, sweet tender spot. Breathe. And it's okay, it might be intense. Just breathe through it. Again, you're gonna hold it longer than that. But, and one last thing you can try is you're gonna place the ball over here on kind of the side hip area. So you're gonna lay on it. And you, you'll feel there's a little kind of bone nubbin thing up here. You're going to want to place it just below that, the iliac crest. And kind of roll on it. Woo! Tight. <laughs> and breathe. And you can roll onto your back and get it from this position, rolling down the glute. So I'm following, the ball is following down the glute muscle here. Oh, that feels so good. <laughs> and again, if this is too intense, take your foam roller and roll it out with that instead. But I'm telling you, if you need to really get in there, your tennis ball is your friend. You can use it on your shoulders if you need to, on your back. Just uh, avoid putting it like on top of bone. You want to place it in between. And I think that about covers it. So hopefully you found that helpful. And remember, make sure to check out the lessons, the individual stretching lessons, and also pay attention to in the lessons when I talk about opening up the hips or rotating from the hips. Um, and remember, don't just do the, um, the middle splits routine because I don't include all of the stretches for middle splits that I have in the routine. So you have to go back and check out the individual lessons too. And I think that's it. I hope this was helpful.